Hello Stamper, welcome to Francie's video. I'm Franz Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up. And today I'm going to show you a um, watercolor card that um, I learned from Belly. Um, she's the one at Rumbling Studio. I absolutely loved her car. I fell in love with it, so I had to make one. Her color choice was all olive and razzle berry. So I decided to uh, do it in uh, fall color. I mean, that's fall color. I wanted something different. So I used Cajun Craze and Crush Curry. So let's get started. And I'm going to show you from the start to finish. And I think you see here, I did some line, just something different on the card. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is take our um, piece of watercolor paper that measure two and a half by five and a quarter. We're going to take that and we're going to stamp with, uh, and then I should back up the bus here. Um, so you see it's, that was kind of the original, just stamp and watercolor. Well, I crank it up a notch here. And if you see, I put the wink of Stella on it and then I put some uh, speckle. So I'm going to show you all that. So it's many thing in one video for today. So we're going to use Cajun Craze and we're going to use Crushed Curry. Now we're going to stamp our leaves and now I get different uh, leaves here than the one that I did. That's okay. It's all from the same set. It's the vintage leaf and <clears throat> that's one of um, for my customer appreciation. The PDF file is using this vintage leaf. I absolutely love uh, nature stamps, so this fit right uh, my boat. Here we go. So I'm just going to do three of them here. And then we're going to use, um, let me close this here so we don't make a mess. We're going to use the smaller one here. And we're going to do that one there one here and really I could have done one and then come with the other one even if it's not just stamped perfectly that's okay because you're going to understand why I should have done one set of leaf watercolor it and come with the other one but I get busy talking now I get my inky rag here so now we're using um aqua painter and the aqua painter just open the barrel you put the water there close it and then you get your water brush ready to go just make sure that your brush it's wet not dripping but wet start in the center and just mix the color um, um, spread the the ink around and that is it my friend how simple can it be and it can depends the color of um your leaves how much that um that ink that went on your stamp if your ink it didn't been ring for a while maybe it's going to be lighter or uh, it can be more ink if you just ring your thing so you cannot even if you try over and over and over um, when it comes to homemade I always say none of it look the same so I just gonna wash the color around it almost looks like glass when it's done. I just love the look of this. Because usually, you know, we would stamp in the darker color, like black, and then add our color. Then I wipe a little bit on my um, brush, on my uh, rag. But even if you mix a bit of the color, that's perfectly fine. Because it's fall leaf. They Usually they get more than one color. And to make it more interesting, sometime I'm going to go and here just add a bit so just wash this make sure you keep your brush wet so that's the first step so that you can leave it this way that's how belly had done just leave it after the wash and then i'm going to show you with the aqua painter and that first we're going to have to let this dry here a bit before i can come with the aqua painter so what we're going to do in between, we're going to do the greeting 
and I'm using the stamp set from the watercolor uh, wish um, kit I really like that yellow in there I use the greeting in that more than anything else really so you see I just mix a bit oh I get one in the corner here that didn't get wash so just make sure it's all wash okay we're gonna let this dry here and as it's dry it's going to get lighter too so here it is we're going to put that aside we're going to let that dry I got a piece of scrap paper here uh, we're going to stamp the leaf in the yellow and this time I'm going to stamp off here we go and then we're going to stamp the hello and crush curry and uh, not crush curry but um crushed curry was the leaf the hello is going to be done in Cajun craze put that right there now I pre-cut one and three quarter circle in the Cajun and really you can cut that out of your mat there the mat for this it's two and um, five eight by five and three eight so two and five eight by five and three eight I just wanted a little border now I'm going to use the one and a half circle punch some of it I did one and a half and one and a quarter I mix match I was trying to see which one I like better um, like this one the back it's one and a half one and a quarter on the top and then this one it's like one we did today one and three quarter and one and a half so it's no right and wrong like I said just go with what suits you now we're gonna put that on top and now I'm going to show you how to do the lines on your card so um, you're going to cut your paper at four and a quarter cut it on the long way so it's four and a quarter by 11 score in the center at five and a half let's fold this here it's going to make more sense if I fold this okay so this would be the front of your card here you're going to take your uh, paper uh, not paper trimmer but your uh, simply score so this is the front you're going to open it up so this would be the inside of the card so when you close it this is the front we want it on the right hand side so you're going to go and score at four and a quarter all the way to the bottom where it was full in f right here stop right there okay that's at four you're going to go at three and a half that don't seem right no it's not up oh, in here and three and three quarter here we go so you're going to go at three and a half three and three quarter and four and a quarter so it's increment of quarter inch at the end now when you close that you get the bum the mountain facing up you see if you would have went the other way it would have been in so it depends what you want I want it raised up the front so now we get that see how simple it is and it just adds a little touch to the card now we're going to take um, this here we're going to mount that it should be almost dry enough for uh, I think my uh, fast fuse need a little bit TLC there put that right here so you see I just get a little bit of a border there okay let's see what I get here here we go now we're gonna put that right here I'm just trying to um, gain some time here while it dry because usually I would finish that and then now I'm gonna take the oh no 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 uh, to do the dots well I'm gonna have to show you okay usually I would do the dots before I mount that on the card but because I did it it's some gonna go on the card because I didn't do it before I uh, mount it 
So before you mount it, to get the little dots, I'm going to do the dots in, um, really, I have to wink of Stella first. Okay, let's do the wink of Stella. So I'm just applying a light coat, I mean light coat. I just color all the leaf with the clear wink of Stella. And, um, I mean, it's very quick. You just brush, it's no pattern to do or nothing you just brush your wink of stella and i'm pretty sure on the camera you don't see the nice effect on that but you really get the shine i think it's way cool i love wink of stella it's very easy to apply it's just a little shimmer paint somebody asked me what is wink of, Sh of stella really it's a shimmer um paint you got it. it come in the gold and uh, it come in uh, clear well that's the one that's stamping up carry i heard that it's many other color out there i use the clear most of anything it's just that it mix with any color and i love it so oh now when you're done though <clears throat> with your wink of stella see i get a bit of color on it just make sure you wipe it on the rag so then the color don't stay there so now I bet you can see all that shimmery, glittery uh, paint. Now, make sure this is super wet now. You're going to take, um, I like to use um, the old olive for this and just flicker it. See? And that's why you want to do that before you mount your card. So then you wouldn't have any on the white. But what can I say? I was happy with gluing it. So voila. So now you get your little spickle on it. Now, um, just because I got a few there, I'm just going to add a few more because I think it's really looked like I did a mistake if I don't add more. Here we go. So you know what? It Give another little look. So it's no wrong thing when it comes to stamping. Trust me. So now I'm going to put dimensional in the back of this. Oops. And put my little halo right here. Et voila, my friend. So now you see that you can stop right after you're done watercoloring and mount it, or you can keep on going at your uh, shimmer paint and at your speckle. This is it, my friend, how simple it is. Thank you, Billy, for sharing that technique. I absolutely love it. I love her uh, color choice, too. I think it's so vivid. It's awesome. So this is it for today. For all your stamping up product that you need, just visit my blog at frenchystamps.com. Just above, you get the little eye. You're going to have all the supplies list and dimension listed on my blog and the same place to shop 24-7. Have a great day and I will be back soon.